What up, YouTube? How's it going? Uh, like I said, I was going to do more personal videos and uh, talk a little bit more about my life. And a subscriber asked me, um, how am I dealing with the females, with the marine stuff? And a couple subscribers asked me about the marine stuff. So I'm going to talk about that, talk about other shit that's going on in my life. I kind of stopped blogging. A lot of things have been going on. Some of them I don't really want to mention on my YouTube channel. I might end up writing about later. But, uh, start off with how the Marine thing's going. Um, I'm just waiting for a piece of paper. That's literally all I'm doing is waiting for my green card to come in the mail. So, as soon as that comes in the mail, I'll go get my social security number. And then, you know, go take my test or whatever I'm supposed to take and all that good stuff. And, you know, whenever they tell me I'm gone, I'm gone. Um, so, what I'm doing is I've been working out. I haven't been able to run it. I, it's not that I haven't been able to run it. It's been too damn cold to get to go running, and I got sick a uh, week behind uh, last week, I guess. And I just didn't think it was smart to be running when it's like 20 degrees feels like negative. You know, it's not the smartest thing for your, your body to be taken in that kind of cold. So haven't been running. So how do I? How did I deal with the females in my family? Because everybody else was pretty chill about it. Um. You know, he asked me, his girlfriend said he got upset. He, he said he told me his girlfriend got upset. I'm not trying to sound like a dick, but she doesn't really have reason to be upset. You're going to be a weekend warrior when you're a reserve. You know, you, you know you're going to be gone for maybe a year, not even, and you'll be back. And then you just train on the weekend. So, like, I feel like, you know, if she can't support you to something like that, I don't, I don't really know. Like, you know, that's like saying, hey, you got a chance of a lifetime, you know, to go do something with your life that you want to do, and you'll be gone for a little bit. If she can't, like, be there and be supportive for a year, you got some problems. So, um, you know, I understand they're going to get upset. Like, my girlfriend's got super upset, and, you know, because she didn't know if she wanted to do this because it's a completely different lifestyle because I'm not doing reserve. I'm doing active duty. And it's like I told her, you know, we've been together for so long and, you know, the commitment should be coming up. <laughs> Not going to lie, that kind of terrifies me. I've never asked a woman, you know, shit. I, I mean, I've never, you know, that, that's big to ask a woman to marry you. So, you know, that being said, you know, I told her the commitment's there. You know, I got to do this and this is something I'm going to do. If you do it with me, then you're going to be part of my life. If not... It's like I told her, don't waste your time if you can't do this. If you can't do this, there's no point in her being with me and, you know, cheating. I don't think cheating's right. That's my opinion. But, you know, everybody does what they do. So, um, you know, um, how I'm dealing with it is, you know, we're already talking about how we're going to deal with it. She expects me to write a lot. I straight up have told her. I could physically be prepared I think I might be physically prepared to what I'm going to encounter when I do the Marine Corps boot camp, but mentally I will not be prepared to what, you know, might be thrown at me. And it's like I told her, like, I might need to not be writing you. I might need to just focus on me during that time. So I know that upset her, and, you know, I've asked her to do stuff for me, like fish tank stuff. Um, I haven't started, but I need to start making videos for you guys that she can upload once a week or once every two weeks, you know, depending on how many videos I make, and put them on private, and then she puts them on public. Excuse me. And um, that way you guys aren't like, man, GM's completely gone, and you guys leave my channel uh, for you guys to subscribe for my fish stuff. But anyways, um, I think a woman should be supportive, including if it's reserves. I think she should support you. I mean, it's... You know, it's like her, think of it this way, you should explain it to her this way. If she had an opportunity to do something that was awesome, you know, I don't know what field of work she is, and do it awesome and be gone for a while, during that time that she's gone, um, you know, she's going to be working towards bettering herself, bettering your future, if that makes sense. And, you know, I don't think a woman, you know, I think if you would wait for her, she would wait for you. That's kind of how I see it, so... Um, you know, I don't know. I, I guess I feel like that's how it should be. A woman should support you, and you should support her. But that's how I see it. Um, so, I mean, how I dealt with it is I straight up told her this is what I'm doing. I told her, you know, there's no point in pussyfooting about it now. You're either going to want to be in my life or you're not. I understand if you're not because active duty, you know, 
I'm not going to live here, uh, period. Um, you know, so we're going to have a long-distant relationship till we get married, you know. Um, you know, she's not going to be close to her family, all that stuff. So, you know, I, I understand that it's, it's a little bit more difficult, but I already told her you either are in or you're not. And if she's not in, then she's not in. She said she was. So, you know, now it's working out all the kinks, if that makes sense. So, that's my uh, advice, man. You know, she's either in all the way or she's not. Um, usually when you date somebody, you're going to date them because you want to marry them. If you're dating someone because you're having fun, you know, like, just have fun. Don't worry about what the hell she has to say. But if you actually care about her and she cares about you, you guys are more serious, you know, she should be there just like you would be there for her. But that's my opinion. Um, on further things, I'm broke. Um, my iPad case broke. Yeah, iPad. Um, I haven't even had a month. Kind of pissed, but nothing I could do about it. I still have it on. One of the corners broke. I have one of these clear plastic kinds. I'm going to pull it out so you guys can see it for you guys that have iPads. It should snap right off. Maybe. Maybe not. Ugh. One of these. I don't know if you guys can see these. Um, it's now made by Belkin. And the corner broke off. Not so happy about it. And this corner is already like chipped and broken. And I'll tell you right now, I've not dropped my iPad. So kind of sucks a lot. I'm trying to figure out where the camera hole is. Here it is. Kind of sucks, but you know, I got it for Christmas, so I can't complain too much. Um, guitar still broken. Um, I got to get the little tiny screw thing, and I haven't found it on eBay, so I might just buy it all new things for it. Um, let's see. My girlfriend met some of my friends. I know you guys are going to be like, what? I have quite a bit of friends. I mean, I think everybody does, you know, and or acquaintances. And uh, this was a friend that I knew back in high school, acquaintance. I don't know. He's part of the wrestling team. And he moved. Um, I knew him when I was a senior. He was a sophomore. He's on JV. And uh, we'd been hanging out. You know, like I said, I see my girlfriend maybe once a week, twice a week. If I'm lucky. Uh, might have not said that. That might have been last take. But anyways. She met my friends. Tried a new beer out. Um, I can't think of the name. It's an apple beer that tastes like an apple. It is freaking awesome. Um, so, you know, if you guys want to do want me to do beer reviews, I can. I know some of you guys are younger. So, um, if you guys don't like the taste of beer, I really don't like I mean, they're like, oh, Bud Light, Bud Light, awesome. You know, Budweiser, what's what's the other stuff that people drink? Bush. And it's, I, I'm not a beer person. I am not a beer person. I'm just kind of like, dude, I'm a, I'm a small guy. I don't like feeling full, so I'm not a beer person. And my friends, try this beer out, and it tastes like freaking apple juice. And it's the best beer ever. I think it's called the Hornsby or Hornsburg. I think it's Hornsby. I might be wrong. Uh, it's green apple. It's awesome. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on the name, but it is awesome. Um, what else? That's about it. I'm supposed to work on Monday, doing some demo work. Not too happy about it. I don't like construction. Um, yeah, I'm brown and I hate construction. Imagine that. Um, nothing else has been going on. Um, I miss my dog. I can lie. Coming home and not having a dog is very weird. I know it's been more than a month. It's probably been about a month now. Um... What else is going on? My little brother's getting huge. Uh, I probably will make a video on him shortly, you know. He's in his little tantrum stages. It's kind of funny because he'll get pissed at anybody and just yell, No! Uh, I'm trying to think of what else is going on. That's important. My sister got shocks, my younger sister. Uh, and that's about it. So I'm starting to get boring now. And I don't understand how people can blog and just talk about random shit all day. Guns. Let me copy the mass media. I, I don't get it. People do that shit. Uh, or let me let me let me read Google or Yahoo News and just repeat shit and give my own opinion. I don't understand how people even watch that crap. So, but uh, yeah, that's my advice. Um, you know, still been working out every day. Uh, I don't feel any better about it. Uh, my girlfriend says I look better. I think I'm starting to look better, but meh, whatever. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Like always, much love. Peace out. Questions, comments, you guys want to know anything about me, post it below. Um, I'll talk about anything you guys want me to talk about, except your mom. Well, maybe. <laughs> Later.